The North Dakota Game and Fish Department is partnering with North Dakota State University to look at populations of American and Canadian toads in our state. North Dakota has historically had the American toad, the Canadian toad, the Great Plains toad, the Woodhouses toad, and the Spadefoot toad. Over the last decade or so, we haven't been able to find any American toads. They are known to prefer forested habitats, but they're also known to hybridize with the Canadian toad. The toad research study is funded through a state wildlife grant from the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. One of our species of conservation priority is the Canadian toad, and through research we've done with Matthew in the past, come to find out that maybe the state's uh, population of American toads has declined, so we're just trying to figure out what might be going on with that. Dr. Smith is focusing most of his efforts on wildlife management areas in the Red River Valley. That's historically the range of the American toad, so Cass, Barnes, you know, by the Cheyenne National Grasslands, really in the eastern, southeastern part of the state. That's where American toads traditionally were, and that's where they've disappeared. Um, and then we come out west, uh, so today we're out in the, in the Oahe area, um, because we found Canadian toads here in the past. There are a couple of methods for trapping all species of toads. One is by hand, the other is buried pitfall traps. Once the toads are trapped, like this woodhouse toad, the work begins. We'll take some morphological measurements. We'll take some photos of the top of their head. That's um, one of the key ways we can tell the difference between an American toad and a Canadian toad. No matter the critter, it's important to keep track of all wildlife populations in our state's ecosystem. This one just happens to be a, a toad. And if we lose this species to the state, we lose the biodiversity and that can affect all the creatures out there. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota outdoors.